VE Day, it was the day 75 years ago when spirits were lifted. To do it today, D-Day Darlings, nine beautiful, talented ladies recreating the songs of the time. Their best-selling I Remember You album is released, repackaged today, and one of them is local. Say hi to Daventry's Kylie Bates. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Bernie. So, did you start performing here as a kid? In, in Daventry, yes. My background's in musical theatre, so I went to Northampton College and did my, my BTEC in musical theatre there. Did you? Um, and then I, I uh, went on to, to drama school, and yeah, that's that's my sort of background. Were you in local shows? I mean, a, a lot of kids would have played at the Royal in their Christmas shows back in the day, or they would have done local shows in various local organisations. Did you ever do that? Did mum and dad ever bring you into Northampton to do... Uh, Shows, yeah, people? yeah. I was um, I was a part of several sort of um, amateur dramatic groups as a as a kid, and also did um, a lot of dance competitions and shows, Latin Latin and ballroom that sort of thing. Um, but actually, a few years ago, I got to return home to the Derngate and do my first show there, which was incredible. It's great to it's great to be on home home soil. <laughs> it's special, isn't it? I think where you used to sit as a kid looking up, and there you are on stage. That's it. I went there so much as a child. My, my grandparents used to take me to pantomimes and things like that. And, you know, every time um, various shows were touring, we'd, we'd hop in. So it's great to be the other side of it and get to see it from, you know, being backstage with everybody that's been there. It's incredible. And music is in your DNA. I know your dad. Uh, and you do indeed. It's your dad has put this in your heart, isn't it? Because he's a rockabilly boy, your father, isn't he? He is. He is. He's a double bass player, yes, in a band. Um, and, yeah, so music is in is in my blood. <laughs> the band is the Retro Bates, who've done two cracking albums on Western Star that I play a lot. Um, do you go and see the Retro Bates when you're here? I do, yes. Yeah, any time I can, I do, I do get down and see them. I do love to go and see them play. Um, they're just so full of energy. Um, uh, they're incredible. I mean, as biased as I may be, they are, I do think they're great. No, they and, are um, great, yeah. You don't need a bias view. They, they are fantastic. <laughs> is he climbing the walls, the old man, at the moment because he can't get out? He is indeed, yep. He likes to keep busy. So him being stuck in at home, he's uh, he is driving my mum a little bit mad, I think. But <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to keep him busy. She's got plenty of jobs for him to do, so that's good. <laughs> so vintage then is in your soul. I mean, your dad's music is kind of rooted in the 50s. The stuff that you're doing yeah. with the D-Day Darlings in the 40s. You score, yeah. I think, because the 40s for women had a great look. Yes, yeah. Um, it's Absolutely. My mum's got quite a, um, a vintage style in, in terms of her fashion. And so I, I quite often raid her wardrobe, actually, <laughs> for most of my outfits. Um, but I do I do love the, the look of, of the time is just, I mean, there's nothing like it now, is there? We saw you on Britain's Got Talent. Was that two years ago, Kylie? It was, yes. Yeah, it's amazing, two years ago. isn't it? Did it open doors? You went on it because you wanted a leg up, I'm guessing. Did you get it? It, it did. I mean, it's been fantastic. The support has been absolutely incredible from everybody. I mean, um, the DJ Darlings have been going for over 10 years now. Um, Katie set the group up, group up um, about 12 years ago. And how did she do it? Did you all know each other? Were you friends? Was it an advert in the stage? How, how did it happen? So she started off um, just her with a couple of girls. Um, and then as the years have gone on, she sort of recruited more and more. Um, and as you know, before Britain's Got Talent, we did used to go out as a, as a trio. But now we're sort of quite a troop of us um, so we can go out to various different places all over the country and uh, it's just gone from strength to strength really I I met Katie actually just shortly before Britain's Got Talent so um, it's been incredible for me. And the reaction when you play to veterans in particular because these songs that you've got on the album there's a connection they're not just songs uh, they're memories they're family they're everything that they've lived through in their lives aren't they these songs? That's it, that's it. And seeing their faces when we perform to veterans, there's nothing, there's nothing quite like it. Seeing the look on their faces and bringing back those memories, you know, happy and sad. Um, it was a really sort of poignant time and I don't think there, there, there are no, no songs like it today. Very emotive. And we know there are fewer of them these days who are around. Your great, great granddads both fought at the Battle of the Somme, they lost their lives at the Somme, didn't they? They did indeed, yes. They both actually went missing in action just days apart um, in July 1916, so they didn't know each other. Um, but yes, uh, Sergeant Arthur Day and Private Harold Bates, they both they both went missing in action, yes. And one of them was carrying a photo and a watch, yes. was that right? Well, you know, yeah, that's right, yes. Well, um, my, my gran actually told me this story. We were going through some of her, um, her old clippings and newspaper articles and... Um, 
a, a lady had actually been sent a watch and photograph that was assumed was from her from her husband and um when she received it she said this isn't my family this isn't my husband's watch and she put it in the newspaper and my somebody a neighbor i think of my great great grands found it and said this is you this is you know this is um these are your boys wow a that's amazing b let's hope that original lady got the stuff from her from her yes I, I, i believe she did i think it all came together so I think it was. Um, it just so happened that she had um, my great great granddad's as well as as well as her husband's effects as well. So your great great grands were left on their own, weren't they? Young. Yes. Yes, they were. Yeah, with young children. That's why these songs matter. The songs that are on the album, and for the revamped version, uh, you've got some new additions, new tracks. We have indeed. Yes, we've got four four new tracks, and and then a, a, a special edition of "We'll Meet Again" as well, featuring Shirley Kemp. And now is the hours on there. And uh, Sweetheart, I don't know Sweetheart. Is that a brand new song? It is. It's an original track written by Katie. It is indeed. Um, and it is an ode to Vera Lynn. So um, it's all about how she kept <laughs> the, the, the uh, spirits up throughout, throughout that time. She was such an important person and to keep everyone's spirits going. Very good. Where people can get that today. It drops today. Yeah. Uh, we don't release records anymore. Your father, if your father's still releasing albums, you tell him he's got to drop stuff. The days of releasing are <laughs> yeah. gone now. He's got to drop. If you don't drop, oh. you're not in, Kylie. <laughs> That's in. it, yeah. I think he still says release. <laughs> it's nice to talk to you, my love. Keep safe in Dav. You too. Thank you so much, Bernie. Lovely to speak to you. Yes, sweetheart. <laughs>